Hi there. It's Austin from Smug and Play, and today I have some crazy stuff to share with you that I think you're going to enjoy, so stick with me here for a moment. When I play MS-DOS games, typically I like to do so in the most, you know, period correct, authentic way possible with my gigantic 40-pound desktop AT machine here. But sometimes you really just want to have an experience that's both convenient and authentic. Recently, my son wanted to renew, you know, revisit his game of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Uh, and I don't have enough desk space really to keep this thing out with my work setup. And although we could play in a myriad ways on my desktop machine um, using DOSBox or even archive.org's uh, MS DOS emulation on the web, um, those don't really create cozy retro gaming experiences that we can really enjoy together. And so what I'm really looking for is something more like this. This is Nintendo Super NES Classic Edition, I'm sure many of you have seen, and it's a retro mini console. It provides a lot of the authentic experience of the original thing, but in a smaller form factor, standalone and plug and play, uh, making it easy for us to leave this plugged into a TV or something somewhere and revisit the classics whenever we want. Now, why hasn't anyone done this for the IBM PC? Well, back in 2018, there were actually a couple companies, uh, Unit E Technologies and Hyperkin, that announced such devices, but nothing ever came of it. Um, so today, I'm excited to announce, in collaboration with the Shed Built Linux project, which I also work on, um, the Shed Built Shareware Palooza which is a standalone Linux operating system that basically turns your single board computer into an MS-DOS gaming battle station uh, that you can use to share these classics with your kids in a way that's both fairly authentic and extremely accessible. Um, and there are a few other little surprises in there as well. So let's boot this up and see what the experience is like. We boot directly into DOSBox and not just into DOSBox, but into LaunchBox, a menu-based launcher for MS-DOS, where we have 22 pre-installed shareware and freeware classics that honestly could keep you occupied for the rest of your life. And this is an eclectic set of things based on my own personal interests. Uh, we have you know, XCOM UFO Defense, uh, a contender for the greatest PC game of all time, a classic uh, tactics-based game. We, of course, have the foundational first-person shooters, uh, Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. Uh, we have some of the Apogee shareware classics like Wacky Wheels, uh, as well as Duke Nukem 2, uh, and some other things that you probably played, you might not even remember, probably spent a lot of time with though, EGA Trek, uh, the EGA DOS implementation of the old uh, Trek mainframe game. Spent tons of that uh, time with that as a kid, and I bet you could get into it as well here. Um, and then on top of that, as a little something extra, if you pop out of DOSBox and you're sitting in the Linux terminal, you can launch the pre-installed Crispy Doom Doom Enhanced Source Port, uh, which has already been pre-configured to load up the shareware episode Knee Deep in the Dead. So you can get some really, you know, high fidelity but authentic DOS, uh, DOS Doom gaming in, and you're basically a step away from setting up when it's safe to do so from a public health perspective a LAN party using only, you know, 10 and $15 single board computers that use very little power makes for a great LAN party setup. When they first uh, released uh, Sigil, John Romero's expansion to the original Doom, I hosted a Doom LAN party using um, these single board computers in an early version of this image, um, and it was a fantastic experience. I wish I could say, all you have to do is go to smugandplay.com or to shedbuilt.net uh, and click the buy button and it will give you the whole thing pre-configured and all you have to do is, you know, take it and put it in the stocking for your kid. Uh, we can't quite do that because we are not in the hardware game, or at least not at the moment, but we do have all of the software, the software image that you need to flash onto an SD card that brings all of this pre-configured goodness to a variety of extremely affordable single board computers that you can find linked on our website. So if you look in the description, You'll see a link to Shedbuilt's Shareware Palooza page. There you can find information about which boards are supported, the images that you need to flash onto the SD cards, and some FAQs about how to do things like install additional software, uh, change the volume, adjust uh, screen resolution if you need to do that. So that should get you hooked up there. But 
This is a free gift to everyone in our community for all the support that they've given us. It's been a rough year. I hope that we can make the tail end of it just that much better uh, and allow you to bring back some great DOS shareware memories with what is probably the closest thing to the MS-DOS PC Classic Edition anyone is going to make ever. So until I'm wrong, go to our website, check it out, download it. I hope you have a lot of fun. Thank you and we'll see you next time.